In this section I'm going to describe the different types of flow and their characteristics. Okay, so the first type is um, or region is laminar flow. Okay, and um, this can be shown sort of schematically. So if we look at um, the flow flowing down this pipe, the green lines here show the um, the velocity um, it, it, it could going across the radius or across the dam to the pipe. And you can see these lines are all parallel um, to each other and they're all going in the same direction. So the streamlines are straight and parallel and it, it's all very regular and nicely ordered. And this is a characteristic of the laminar, laminar flow. And an example of this is if you look at the, the image on the right hand side. So there's honey falling off a spoon here. And, you know, this is quite a viscous fluid and we, we'll talk about um, viscosity later on in this lecture. But if you were, could look at the streamlines in here, they would be nicely in order. They're moving quite slowly. They're, um, you know, relatively moving to each other. They're quite ordered and they have this uh, laminate uh, flow characteristics. At the other end of the scale, um, turbulent flow, the paths um, are irregular and chaotic, um, as can be seen from the schematic here. So. Go, there's no um, real uh, distribution of um, the flow um, velocity going across the diameter and it's as I say um, the, the fluid motion is quite chaotic and you get a lot of mixing in this type of um, flow as you would expect and a good example is can be seen here is smoke coming out the chimney so you can see as the smoke's coming out um, okay, it's called in a crosswind, but still it's very um, turbulent. There's a lot of mixing going on inside, and you can see wrinkled edges on the on the side of the the uh, the, the plume, um, which is again characteristics of, of turbulent flow. And it's not just um, the fluid velocity that um, links to this, as we 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 see on in a bit later, but generally as you increase the velocity, you're going from this nice regular laminar flow into this turbulent flow but is in most applications flows not either laminar or turbulent but can transition between the two and um, as can be seen in the image here so this is showing some smoke which is going upwards and you can see the bottom um, third of this picture the flow um, as visualized by the particles is nice and laminar they're moving all together and you can see at the top, in the top third, that it's clearly turbulent. There's no um, pattern to this. So all the um, particles are moving relatively independent of each other. Whereas you can see in the in the middle third, there is this transition. So there's transition just about here from laminar flow to probably around here, which is where turbulent flow starts. And so we've got this critical or turbulent regime in the middle and you can see that it starts off looking a bit turbulent but it's kind of a regular pattern before it gets into this fully turbulent flow and we have got um, a number that describes this um, transition from laminar to turbulent flow and it's the Reynolds number and we found this number when we were looking at um, dimensional analysis and using the Buckingham Pi theorem and it is the density of the fluid times the velocity of the fluid um, times the length scale, which is typically the um, pipe diameter, all divided by um, the viscosity. Okay, so this this we can use this number um, to describe um, the type of flow, the, the, the type of flow. So as you increase um, the Reynolds number, you go from uh, laminar flow through a critical tr or transitional flow into uh, turbulent flow. So here's quite a good example um, just to illustrate this. So this is a pipe. Um, flow is going from right to left in this video. And um, what you can see running down the middle at the minute is this is um, some dye. So they're injecting dye upstream. And because the um, fluid is um, uh, laminar, this um, path line is also forming the streak line, as I discussed earlier. So I'll play the video and look what happens as the flow in this pipe becomes more turbulent in terms of the, the dye that you can visualise here. So I started off, you can see it's nice and laminar. Hopefully you can just see some motion going from right to left as you're looking at, at it. Okay, so you can see 
the Reynolds number is starting to increase now. We're starting to get some variation in these um, path and streak lines. Now it's going through a transitional um, critical flow. And eventually as Reynolds number keeps increasing and increasing, it will become fully turbulent. Okay, so you can see here now, if I pause it here at the end, you can see that this um, flow is clearly um, very turbulent. So there's no um, obvious kind of uh, flow pattern um, in the fluid. Compare that to when it was laminar at the beginning. You can see it's you know very uh, organized here, very disorganized here. And if we go somewhere in the middle, about there, you can see here it's neither laminar nor turbulent. So is we haven't got that nice ordered um, transitional, it's, so we haven't got that nice ordered laminar flow, neither is it completely chaotic, because we can see, although there is some disorder, it's ordered disorder, if you see what I mean. We've got this um, repeating pattern, so it's in that transitional or critical flow regime.